Hi Kipsters, hi family. Welcome to today's mini number one. I know you're ready when your thumbs are up, your elbows are out. You ready? I love math. Yes, I do. I love math. How about you? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Months of the year. Get ready. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, months of the year. Hmm. My turn first. I need to figure out what today's date is. Today is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. Make sure your listening ears are on while I read it one more time. I'm going to read to you what today's date is. Today is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. Today is... Great job. You all said today is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. Now, I think you all have been doing number corner long enough to know what question I'm going to ask next. That's right. It has to do with how many days you've been in school. Hands up. Get ready. How many days have you been in school? Count with me. Get ready. 100. Stop. Switch. Count by 10. 110. 120, 130, 140, 150. Stop, switch, count by ones. 151, 152, 153, 154, 155. But we've been in school a new day, so I need to add. That's right, I need to add one more. Great, let's count again. Count with me. 100, stop, switch, count by 10, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, stop, switch, count by fives. Oh, Miss Ross made a mistake. I said count by fives. We're not counting by fives, we're counting by. Let's try that again, count with me. 100, stop, switch, count by 10, 110, 120. 130, 140, 150. Stop, switch, count by ones. 151, 152, 153, 154, 155, 156. Wow. So I'm going to go to our 100s, 10s, and 1s chart and go ahead and write the number 156. Looking at our number 156, how many hundreds are in the number? I'll give you a hint. You want to look to find the H for the hundreds and see what number is in the hundreds place. So in the number 156, there's 100 because there's a 1 in the hundreds place. How many 1s are in the number 156? That's right. There are 6 1s in the number 156 because there's a 6 in the ones place. How many tens are in the number 156? So smart. There's five tens in the number 156 because there's a five in the tens place. So time for my very last question. Hands up, fists together. Is it I or even? I, I, or even? I, or even? I, I, or even? This should be so easy. I want to know, is the number 156 odd or even, and how you know. Take five quick seconds to think, is the number 156 odd or even, and how do you know? Some people are already giving me a thumbs up, and five, four, three, make sure you know why, and two, one, and zero. If you said even, you are correct. The people that said the number 156 is even is because they knew there's a 6 in the 1's place 
and they know that six is even. One more time. People knew the number 156 was even because there's a six in the ones place, and we know that six is even. Six is, that's right, six is even. So it makes the number 156 even. When we want to figure out if a number is odd or even, we always, 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 always look to see what number is in the ones place. We always look to see what number is in the that's right, to see what number is in the ones place. You all did such a great job figuring out if this big number of 156 was odd or even. We figured out it was even. And we knew because there was a six in the ones place, and six is even. I can't wait for our full number corner tomorrow. Bye, Kipsters. Bye, families.